everyone, uh, I'm James Goodnight from International Photography Workshops and we're having a talk here at U2 Space um, in part of their 1001 Nights in the San Leyton series and um, today we're talking with Lila Lee, a good friend and photographer uh, from Hawaii uh, who's here visiting Beijing uh, and yeah, I'd like to say welcome. Thank you for coming. Thank you. <laughs> so. I've known you for a number of years here. Uh, we first met at Art Center College of Design, but um, I just want to start by asking um, how you, I mean, when we met, you were an illustration major, but how did you first yeah. get an interest in photography? I went to Santa Monica College and I took my first photography class and I just, it's my first black and white class and I just thought it was kind of cool and uh, yeah, right. I, I just thought it was fun, so. I mean, I didn't think I'd go to school for it. I was just kind of yeah. like, I just had an open elective and was like, all right, I guess I'll try uh, okay. photography. All my other classes were like, um, uh, just to like finish my GE and then, mm. um, and then all the rest of my classes were like drawing and painting, like art classes and stuff. So, okay. So you're always in the creative fields, painting and illustration yeah. and stuff like that. Well, I thought I, I mean, or I initially went to Art Center for illustration. Okay. So, yeah, I didn't really, like, think I would have a future in photography. <laughs> yeah, that's really cool. I mean, you know, I don't, I guess it's not very common for students at Art Center uh, to change majors like that, especially going from illustration to photography. It was really cool to see you make that change. Um, but what, what drew you over to that side of it? Pardon the pun. Um, I don't know. Um, I think for me is more like we got so we had, we had so much homework for illustrate being an illustration major that I was just like, dude, I it almost just killed the love of it mm, for I me. See. Yeah. Because it was just so much homework all the time that mm. I was just like, man, I really don't know if I can like imagine myself um, being like this for the rest of my life. Yeah. Um. And then, I don't know, I just, you know, after Santa Monica College, I just continued to, like, take photos on my own and just always kind of like that as, like, a side hobby. And then I mm -hmm. figured maybe I'd switch over to photography. And I met with Keely and... Uh, the dean of the photography program at Art Center. Yeah, and then I just, I showed him some photos and he was just like, yeah, sure, like, come in. like Very cool. So I was like, all right. Um, but yeah, I mean, now that I think back about it and if I could do it all over again, maybe I wish I had that discipline, mm. uh, to have stuck with illustration because it's something that I still really enjoy and, um, yeah. And I still wonder sometimes, like, how would my life be if I, mm. um, had had an illustration degree rather than yeah. had completed with photography. Mm. Yeah. I think one thing that's interesting, um, I think different than the education at Santa Monica College, which is more of a, a technical sort of uh, how to do photography, um, how do you think Art Center differentiated from that? Like, what were you exposed to in terms of photographers, uh, critiques, you know, your peers' work and things like that? How were you influenced by them? Well, I guess I just, I wasn't even... Um concerned with like finding a voice mm -hmm. you know I think it's like I don't know I didn't I didn't really think like how do you how do you find a voice or what is a voice or anything like that it was kind of just like I think it's something that kind of just comes instinctually after seeing enough or doing enough mm -hmm. of something that you're like oh, okay like this is why I like this um, not even just like with photo or like paintings or drawings and stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, and then, um, I actually chose Art Center cause I was like trying to decide between schools when I was at SMC, like where I should transfer to. Yeah. Um, and I actually chose Art Center over, I think I was trying to decide between like Otis mm -hmm. or Art Center, um, Cause I, I think I won't, just because I wanted to like stay in Southern California yeah um, and like still be near my sister and um, I chose Art Center because of the technical aspect of it okay 
So I liked that they still had a dark room. Mm -hmm. And I liked that um, they kind of like taught you the fundamentals of everything and the rules yeah. of everything and like how to develop your film and, you know. Uh, call All the it. fundamentals, yeah. I mean, that the first three semesters of that school are so intense yeah. right i mean yeah like you said the black and white dark room you know four by five you know yeah. learning how to use those zone system that's there what you it go was. boom that's what i was trying to remember zone system what's yeah. his name Szynski? Was yeah. That his? yeah pete pete yeah and even though his class was like so boring because you just shot like the same shit like nine times in a row with different exposures and developing um that was like such a crucial class to learn um, like how to push and pull your film and like why things happen. Mm. So, and so you're still shooting majority of film now, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, for your personal work. Um, yeah. And for, and for jobs too, if the, if they have the budget for it. Very cool. Yeah. So, um, after school, uh, after you graduated from art center, mm -hmm. you then, uh, we're in LA for a while, right? Yeah. Uh, you... What, what did you do after school? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> all of a sudden you have all this free time. I mean, school was intense, I'm sure. Uh, well, I think I went through the normal art school graduate course, which mm. was uh, you celebrate being graduated and being out of that... Uh, I don't want to call it a hellhole because it was actually awesome. But when you're in it, it sucks because it's like so intense. Yeah. Um, for so long, for so many years. Um, but yeah, so then, you know, you celebrate and you party and you're like, fuck yeah, I'm graduated. Um, and then, uh, then you hit the depression phase where you're like, oh my God, what the hell am I doing with my life right now? Mm -hmm. And now I have all these loans and, um, and then I think, I was like, all right, I need to like figure some shit out. Mm -hmm. So then I started, um, so I was studio managing for a couple different photographers and just shooting whatever random freelance jobs that I could get. And that was pretty much it. And then, yeah. and then I lived in San Diego for a year, which made it hard cause I was still living cause I was still, my work was still in, in LA. Mm -hmm. Um, so, I don't know, that was kind of a dumb move, I don't really know why I did that. <laughs> <laughs>